Well, Moss Dog, we've done this a couple times and it still returns to the same thing. This is a broken map and it needs a lot of love. It doesn't matter what configuration you have. Now, I am battle rating 7.3, but we're at battle rating 7.0. I think it's the top tier, so we're only up just a little bit. Um, this map is very much a king of the hill and once you take the B point, you can control the rest map. There are a few uh, spots that are to the north or to the south, to the left, right, whatever you want to call it, that can give you an advantage in taking out targets. Honestly, the one to the A1 block is really the most important one because you can control people's movements in the B point. And also if you're team two, it allows you to control team one spawn. Now, going straight to it right here at 7-7, seven, seven, Team one has a mouse, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it here. It's the big old heavy some bitch right here. But this thing is gonna get up on the B point and you know, trying to get up the hill, trying to fight uphill to get to the B point is an absolute pain. Now team two does have a position to where they can see kind of over at the C point and snipe at the at the team one. But for the most part, team one plays it smart backs up goes around and into the b point or even just on the little hill there they can maintain a pretty good uh, protection stance or defensive posture whatever you want to call it so as we can see this mouse is continuing to push up slow his teammates are you know working team two they're trying to keep them back pushing them away once the mouse gets up here it really does just become a bunker especially at the 7-7 seven, seven, there's not a whole lot that can be done to to stop it there are a few things yes but um they're just not gonna be able to do it on this map with these ranges and stuff because you're you're looking at the mouse in the worst possible positions now if you were up in the a1 block you know you might be able to do something but considering that we have a uh light or sorry that's a medium tank in the a2 going a1 the entire northern flank is dead in fact the guy well i was just about to say the guy in the c3 block is about to die because he's just completely overwhelmed so you know the biggest thing with this map and i think it's really important or at least i think these after action reviews are important for maps like this because it shows you where the weaknesses are you know for this map obviously and we've said it multiple times it's that a1 block but there's also spots like the G4 block where this light guy is down here for Team 2. Um, there's also a whole lot of other blocks. There's F7, um, and there's a couple other spots in the waterway, the river. You can outflank and get behind the C point a little bit, or at least to the side of it, and do a little bit more over there. But for the most point, as we said at the beginning, this is a king of the hill. Once you've taken the B point, you pretty much have the game because from B point, you can see both spawns. Now, technically, Team 2 can see better into Team 1 spawn from the B point, but Team 1 still has a dominating control over the enemy spawn because you can't get out from behind those hills. The second you try to, they're going to shoot you from the C point, they're going to shoot you from the B point, and then those outflankers, if you try to get around over the A point to get a crew member to reload, whatever the case may be, you're just going to get shot trying to get there. This is absolutely crap map design, and I feel like it needs to just be taken out of rotation until Gaijin pulls their head out of their butt and fixes it.